Shocking picture we're seeing for the first time today. This is Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Lieutenant Jeremy Lee after the car carrier ship explosion at Blunt Island back in June. His head was split open and we blurred out his arm, but it was snapped. He's one of the 10 firefighters who were injured in that fire. Now they're suing the companies who own and operate this ship. On your side, Haley Harrison has been digging through the lawsuit that was just filed. This new photo shows for the first time what the inside of the car carrier ship looks like after the explosion at the Jacksonville port June 4th. This was a recipe to, for disaster. Attorney Curry Pagic is representing the 10 injured JFRD firefighters. The lawsuit claims Hogue Auto Liners Shipping and Grimaldi Deep Sea SBA and other defendants failed to keep the ship in a safe condition. It states the wrecked cars were loaded without batteries being disconnected and electricity being taken off. And the ship's crew had turned off the fire alarm system, which means it's unknown when the fire actually started. Attorney Padgett says once they got to the scene, it also took JFRD an hour and 40 minutes to figure out how to get up to the fire because no one from the crew spoke English. It blasted three firefighters out of the fifth floor and it threw three firefighters down the stairwell and slammed three others, four others to the ground. He says all the firefighters sustained similar injuries, second and third degree burns, torn flesh and snapped bones. These firefighters uh, ran into the fire to prevent the disaster. And thankfully, due to the hard work of our firefighters and our fire and rescue division, it was averted. But 10 of our true American heroes we're going to have to live with the consequences of the defendant's conduct. Attorney Padgett admits this will be a long fight since the defendants are foreign companies, but that he will make sure the firefighters get justice. In Jacksonville, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.